If you've ever been on someone's live or uh, on a presentation and you see them writing on screen like this and you think, how on earth did they do that? You're in the right place because that's what we're talking about today. Now, we're going to run through everything in this, what you need, how you do it. We're using Ecamm Live, which is Mac only software. We've got an iPad. We're just simply using a USB cable to connect it into the computer and an Apple Pencil. I'm on an iPad Air here, but just make sure that an iPad, if you're getting a new one, is compatible with the Pencil. Now, what will happen is you're gonna take your iPad, connect it in with USB, and if it's unlocked and you've got this iPad up to date, then in Ecamm, when you click up under the cameras, you should spot your iPad coming in as a camera source. It's not a screen attachment. Uh, it is seeing it as a camera. If it isn't appearing in there, try a different USB port, fully close Ecamm, open it again. If that's not working, close your computer down, open it up again, maybe close and open up again your iPad. Sort of standard fault finding really. If it's really not working, uh, let me know. and Let's see if we can fault find this and get you going. But uh, for me, it just instantly works straight through. And then over on your iPad, when you open up GoodNotes, I've already got this open at the top corner. If you go back, it brings you back to your documents window. Just hit new on here. What we've actually done, and we've done a blog post that sits alongside this and breaks it down into nice uh, bite-sized chunks to follow along. Some of you I know prefer to read it and look at the images than watch the video. So we've done that and over there we've put links that I'll be talking to you about here. And the most important link is one to a PDF document that we've given you that is 10 pages of green screen in the right format that you need for this screen. So at the bottom, you have an option to import wherever you downloaded it to, go and find it, bring it in, and uh, you'll be brought into this green screen over here like this. Now, somebody might be asking, could I not do this in Keynote? Yes, you can. And you could just create the green background in there. And when you go into the presentation, it will let you annotate and draw on screen, but it's very limited. You can't change that pen thickness. You can't zoom in and out like you're gonna see us doing over here in a minute. Honestly, we've tried half a dozen different of these note-taking apps, different ways of doing it, and GoodNote is just the best as far as I'm concerned. So if you really want to impress your audience, I think it's definitely worth a subscription and uh, take this out. So we're kind of ready over here. Uh, one of the tip that I would recommend is over the top of this as a screen protector is a kind of a matte film that is, I uh, can't remember the name of it, it was to, it's paper or something as an overlay. And it just genuinely feels like when I'm writing on this, that it's like I'm writing on a page rather than writing on glass, which it is on top of your iPad. So I'll put a link again to that over in that blog post. Do recommend that. This should be plugged in and charging all the time so we don't have to think about batteries. But uh, let's come now into Ecamm and see what we're doing. So the whole point is we want this to appear in front of us as an overlay. That's what the whole green screen is doing. We're gonna bring the green image in. We're gonna then extract the green. And so all we're gonna be able to see is the text and your audience are gonna be blown away. So we're gonna create a new scene, always creating new scenes for different changes like this. Uh, it's starting off with this camera at the bottom. And as I say, Ecamm is seeing your iPad as a camera overlay. So that's what we're doing. We come down here to camera. By default, it's chosen the same camera. I click the little pencil symbol and uh, we select our iPad and in it comes. And that is just a mirror of what's there on the screen in front of me. So nothing wrong with that. Now, if I blow this up to full size, we can see along the top here, uh, our navigation and actually while it is there let me just show you this so this is where we're selecting our pencils you do have a choice of a fountain pen ball pen i i stick with this ball pen uh, some other options and things in here i find that i can just double tap on this and it jumps me between the eraser and back to the pen and then i can select my colors over here and the thickness of the, the pen that i'm using plus other things as well so a lot of features on this but we don't want to see this coming through on our Ecamm window. And all I'm doing here is just pinching and squeezing to, to change the size of this around. But we can get rid of this. This is one of those awesome little features in here that was almost under the radar, but uh, it makes the world a difference. I can now hit the option key on my keyboard down at the bottom left there. And when I grab one of these edges, instead of it resizing, it turns into crop. So I hit option, keep my finger on it, and now when I pull it down, look at that. Oh, 
it's just got rid of that edge for me. And so now this is going to mean that it's slightly out of shape and we're going to lose some of that edge. What I tend to find is push it up to the top left corner and then pull it down and off the screen. You can keep resizing that, but try and tuck that top left corner in because it means that when we write up in the top left corner, it's not going to disappear off the page. And come on, I'm itching to have a go at this. So let's just write hello. So you can see what's happening. It's coming in here like this, but we haven't actually applied the green screen to it yet. So camera effects, remember this is a camera. If you haven't got this open, it's this little magic wand symbol here. And then I say on my iPad, green screen, by default, it's going to apply a background image, but we want to have transparent. And there we go. That's how we write on screen. Now, as I say this, good notes, one of the things I can do on here, look, I can pinch and zoom on this and uh, you can see that starting to move around on the screen. I really like this way of working with it and I tend to use this middle pen and um, the reason being I can, you can see down here, we got our different, I gave you 10 pages. You can come down here and move between them. Uh, let's find a blank one. If I zoom, let's kind of pull this out. In fact, I'll just draw a line. I want to see how like, I'm using that line there as a measure. So that's about the size I want for my writing. Double tap to go back to my eraser. And this is the kind of way I would practically be using this. So I'm teaching my customers in the Pro Video Academy things we do. I'm, I'm explaining how we come up with ideas for our YouTube videos. And so I might come in here and go, um, best lighting. And so I'm, I'm writing this on here and then we're thinking, okay, well, what other videos could we make around this? We talk in our YouTube Academy about clustering these videos. Um, so maybe we say, um, what would be another good video? What maybe when I'm talking about lighting, I might link off to something else. Well, let's talk about wearing glasses and reflections. Now forgive my scribbling. This is why I don't do this too often. Um, so what about for glasses? Uh, maybe we uh, I get asked a lot about LED panels and soft boxes. So we'd make a video on that. And maybe I'm thinking, okay, well, I know which softbox I use. So why don't we do a review of two different ones? Or maybe let's do a, um, so off the back of this video, I'm saying I would probably do a, um, a Godox SL60 review. And then maybe off the back of that, I do another one that's a uh, Godox setup. You get the idea. And maybe in this setup video, we've got a um, PDF worksheet that goes with it. So can you see how I could genuinely be working through with my customers? And um, doesn't that just feel a lot more fun and interactive to be working through like this? And I can pinch and zoom this in and out as I want. Now, I found this another way of doing this to actually make this feel even more believable like I'm writing on the screen here. In our camera effects again, we're going to jump back from the iPad and go back to our camera. But there's a setting down here, which I, in fairness, I sort of think, where would I use this? This is the first time I've really gone, that would be amazing. Blur effect under camera options. So if I add a bit of blur to this, don't you think all of a sudden this feels more believable, like I'm writing up here on the screen and the camera's focused on that, on the bit of glass in front of me rather than me over here? I think that looks really good. Forgive the handwriting, of course. <laughs> but you might say, yeah, but that's okay for you. You've got this nice dark blue background. It wouldn't work for me in my room. What about using different colors? Well, we'll look at that. And uh, actually, before I do, let me show you another option. One thing that I think you could do 
Uh, it's not gonna have this clean, true sort of feel like we're writing on the glass in front. But if you're really struggling with uh, the background that in your room, maybe you've got a busy bookshelf where it's white and there's lots of colors and things going on. Um, one thing that we've done as well is to go off to somewhere like Canva, start off with a YouTube thumbnail image to get the right template size, and then just drop a color onto it, take it back to 50% opacity, and save it out as a transparent image, as a PNG file. And uh, so here's an example of an orange one that I brought in. And so initially I can pop that onto the front, push it to make sure it fills the size, and then slip it under here. And so now I've organized these layers so the higher layer sits closer to the front. So I've got my, that's my camera writing on the front. That's this layer. We've got it blurred in the background. So as we build this back up, we're now jumping from this scene. We could come across to this and you know, that's that's not bad as a backup if you find that your background is too busy. And it doesn't have to be orange. It could be any color that you want. What do you think to that? That's another way of doing it. Now, let me just come back to, I'm gonna knock that off for now. I don't particularly wanna keep that one on. What about other colors? Oh, I'm using white here. We, we do have, other options on the pen tool here to go for. Let's pick a bright red one. How does that look? Notice that it's a bit pixelated. Around the edges of it, you've got this, uh, you know, it's little bits of yellow around the side there. It's green, presumably, but it's picking it up. So although it looks nice and clean on here, or the same if I went for black, It's just picking up some little pixels on the edge. Now, let me just put it, I realize that's against um, a dark background. It's not as obvious. You can just see it over here now that it um, it doesn't look as bad when you're against light. So by all means, play with it. But um, I definitely found that white seemed to do the best job of not picking up the edges. And one benefit of staying in white is again, under these camera effects, make sure that I'm back on the iPad and not on the camera. I can actually push the brightness up so I'm really getting that white as bright as possible. And I can take that saturation down completely flat. So we're now purely working in grayscale. There's no color. So even if on that white, there had been a few little yellow or green bits around the edge, they'll all disappear or they'll have all been turned into white and uh, we're not gonna see those now. So there's a few little tips on, on how I'm using this, on how this works, but I reckon that's pretty powerful and i reckon your audience would be blown away if you showed up and started doing things like this um so many options for it you know if you're demonstrating how you do a sales flow through or it's you know like more in my case kind of lead magnets and working through to emails and things and how this can how this experience can work through it's great to visually do that maybe somebody asks a question and you want to just go yeah i wish i could just demonstrate this you know there's this story or as a bridge illustration and whatever it be i encourage you to have a play with this again the fact that this is transparent it doesn't have to be writing on the screen here you could put yourself in a scene or you could go off to a stock site and pick up like a little image of a notepad that would look quite cool wouldn't it you know like a little ring bound notepad sitting on the screen here at the side of you and if you kind of line it up as you're writing on the screen it's going to look like you're writing on that notepad different ways like that that you could use it if um, you wanted to do something different to this but having this all prepped in advance so i know i'm ready to go i could jump onto my live we could jump into that next scene and uh, when i start writing over here clearly not black on black, it's going to come straight through and uh, your audience are going to love it. Well, if you stumbled across this video and uh, there's a lot of questions you've got from this, please let us know in the comments. If you don't have Ecamm at the minute, uh, I'd really appreciate it. We've got an affiliate link down below that will give you a 14 day free trial. We've got the blog post that sits and accompanies this, if that's helpful to you. And when we're talking about overlays and scenes and things like that, if it's seems foreign to you, please, we've got a full playlist over here that you can check out and uh, we'll answer any of those questions, I'm sure. So lots of options for you, but uh, this is fantastic. Go and have a play with it and uh, I'd love to hear what you thought to it. Please give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and uh, be sure to subscribe and check out those other videos. It's been great to see you. Bye.